Hello, hello, hello to all of the Sagittarians out there. Sun, moon, rising. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your You Versus Them reading for the month of February. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, sound like a robot. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. If you need a private reading, the links will be posted in the description box below the video. All right, let's see. Let's pull your energy and then your persons. Okay, so some of you, you and your person, you and your person could be mirroring each other's energies. Okay, could be if you are divine feminine and your person is like running hot and cold, you could be doing the same thing at this time to maintain control. Or to gain some type of balance in this situation. Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to press the thumbs up image as well. It helps the video circulate. Thank you in advance to those who do press that. Thank you in advance. I appreciate each and every one of you for all of your love and support. Yeah, your person may want you to chase after them Sagittarians. I do feel like you view this person as being like a beautiful soul or kind hearted. But... I feel like this person or this person wants you to chase them because they're very vain. So they're kind of withdrawn because they feel like they don't have to come after you. All right. That's what it is. They feel like they look so good that they don't have to do anything. They don't have to really put in, in the work. Let me know if your partner feels like they don't have to put in the work. This person is very vain. Okay, if you hear a noise outside, that's the, uh, what do they call it? The waste truck. They're emptying or taking away some trash or something. All right, let's see. What is going on with Sag Sagittarius' person? I knew there was a um, three cards right there. Some of you could be dealing with another um, fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Libra's energy is here. Sagittarius energy is here again. All right. So I feel like you got the overall energy is justice. Libra's energy. So something here needs to be balanced. And I feel like it's just this person's goddamn attitude. Okay. That's what I feel. Because if they're withdrawn because they feel like they're the prize, then that's not going to work. There needs to be some type of balance here. But I feel like your person, this person definitely likes to travel, okay? I do feel like this person is going to take some type of swish, swift, quick action to change um, the pace of this union, they may be reaching out to you to have a conversation from what I see. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. This person will reach out to you. I do feel like they're going to open up and let you know why they've been so standoffish. But still, this person still is in a mindset of feeling as if they are the prize. Okay? And I feel like you, on the other hand, I see you making clear boundaries. Some of you are going to tell this person exactly how you feel and what's on your mind. I see you telling them exactly how you feel and what's on your mind and not cutting no corners. The challenge here, again, is this person is standoffish. Okay? They are standoffish. They often like to, like, disappear, so they may come and go. Why is this person coming and going? Okay, so they could be working. They could be someone that just wants to take their time. They want to be sure that um, things will work out between you two. Like, they want to make sure their money is right, their home is stable, their finances are stable. So I do feel like this person is taking their time Um because they are planning for the long haul, okay? And that goes into vanity, wanting everything to be perfect. But that's not how relationships go, 
okay? So this person is contemplating on how, you know, they can be better or do better or create this foundation. They may, um, I feel like this person is withdrawn because they've experienced some type of disappointment as well. They had some underlining issues going on. And I feel like these underlining issues that this person has going on, um, I don't feel like these issues are have anything to do with you. I feel like they they have something to do with their a past relationship. Yeah. Because this person has been waiting for like a new opportunity to come into their life. But they still want to be in control. I feel like this person wants to make all the um, calls. Like they want the ball in their court. So they could be very controlling. Some of you are dealing with someone that's controlling. Okay. Point blank and simple. I do see a conversation taking place between you and this person. But I feel like with this nine of cups here, this person is like looking and viewing things from their viewpoint. Okay. So some of you could be dealing with someone that is very selfish. Okay. Now you, on the other hand, queen of swords, you're going to speak your mind. You're going to tell this person like you enjoy spending time with them. You, you know, you like them or whatever. But this person often makes you feel like you're putting a lot of work into this union and you're not getting the same thing back in return. Okay. I see you telling this, this is what you're telling this person. And that's why the overall energy is justice, balance. You're telling this person, we need to have balance here. And I, you're like, spirit is saying, it's okay to be patient in order to make, because this is your energy. It's okay for you to be patient to maintain balance in a situation, but make sure it's for the right purpose. It's for the right reason. And it's beneficial to all parties involved. Because I feel like this person, like, dipping off or holding back is not fair. It's not fair because it leaves you feeling alone and wondering what the hell is going on. Like, is there another person? Like, do, do you like me? It's causing you to have some issues um, within. Or I don't want to really say insecurities, but, yeah, that's what it's causing. Because you're wondering if they're offering love to someone else. Okay. Let's see. Why should you be patient? What's the outcome? Why should you be patient with this person? Why should you continue to be patient with this person? This person has some growing to do. There's a little immaturity here. They may have multiple obligations, multiple priorities, responsibilities. They may need to learn how to time manage or manage their time so it's going to require you to have strength to be with this person in order to move towards something more stable yeah because i feel like this person may be confused okay i feel like they may be confused i feel like they're um they are they may be thinking about their finances or trying to build some type of financial. That's what I'm getting. Like, this person is all about the money. And that's why they can't give to this union. So, be patient with them for now. But, like, if they don't change their ways, then you have to do what's best for you. Because it's not fair for you to put your 100% in and your view in this person as being you know, who you want to be with or you want to move forward with them and they're not giving you the same thing in return. That's what I'm getting. So, yeah, that's what I have. <clears throat> um, And you may have, like, unconsciously started mirroring these, this person's energy. And if it's not that, this is just you feeling like, with the twin flames, like, this is your person. If you're a divine feminine watching this, you could really be feeling like this is your person. And that's what I'm getting. 
but this person wants you to chase after them and it's causing you to feel like confused because you're like, okay, this person is giving me mixed emotions. They're in and out, off and on. So what do I do? But I'm going to leave it at that. That's what I have for you, Sagittarians. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Peace.